suitable for impressionable young people. I would like to tender our sincerest apologies to all parents. <laughs> man here with faithful boy wonder fraction yes it's time for fun with figures laughter with long division <laughs> oh, shut up you boring old idiot this is saturday morning kids don't want to learn on saturday well, boy wonder fraction what's come over you this the cream cube root of pie that was vulgar fraction always come under sharp attack today, accused of trying to save money by employing an increasing number of children on cheap wages. This has been denied by the new president of CGOH Television. CGOH TV is not trying to save money and increase its profits by employing a bunch of children. So that... Mm -hmm. Hi, we're back. Some of us you saw last week, and the rest are all new faces, all from Ottawa, except this one guy who's all the way from Russell, but he doesn't count because he's French. <laughs> Excuse-moi, Marc, je pensais que mon français n'était pas mal bon, mais j'ai pas compris ce que tu as dit. So you don't speak frog, eh? That's hey, that's my line. We'll be back in a moment with some more. Hey, Cindy, how'd you like a date tonight with a really good-looking boy? Gosh, Tim, I love it. I'll just see if I can find one. Still trying to find a girl, Tim? No, I think I've decided to become a monk. Hey, listen, if you want a really hot tip, Tim needs someone to help her with homework tonight. Homework? Forget it. I got enough on my own. Now, think about it. You'd be all alone with her at her place, doing her homework for her. Hey, she'd uh, kind of owe you a favor, wouldn't you? Think? Homework, eh? Yeah. yeah. Just think about it. It would be nice of you to offer to help me with my homework, Tim. You never told me it was your dressmaking homework. No. Hang on, don't move. Hey, wait a minute, you can't let anybody in here, not like... Oh, David! Crusty Stand little Stand still or I'll shoot. And then I'm gonna put it on a school bulletin board. No, no, David, we don't, we don't want to do anything that we might regret later now. Come you? on, Cindy, let's go to the movies. Right. Hey, wait a minute. How am I supposed to get out of this thing? Don't move. You fall the base thing. I care about the base thing. You never do it. You okay. better not try and get me in a dress on this show, or I'll tell Monsieur Levesque. Nice. That's really good. How long have you been dancing? Not more than ten years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what school do you go to? St. Nicholas. And what part of town are you from? City in Ottawa. City in Ontario. And what part of town are you from? Ottawa. And what school do you go to? St. Mary's. St. Mary's. You did a great job today. Thanks a lot for coming around. And also, it's time to go back to uh, Mark Dion, not quite in a dress, yet. What do you mean, yet? How'd you like to come over and help me with my homework sometime, Mark? No way. Anyway, it's competition time, and today we're giving away this beautiful Panasonic radio. It's not exactly like last week. It's better. It's got telescopic antenna, squelch control, and it works off AC or battery. The question is, qui a fait le plus d'argent pour un film et donne-moi le nom de film? Le numéro à appeler est 2256415. Wait a minute, what do you mean? Oh, I'm just giving my fellow frogs a chance to get one jump ahead. Give me that. The question in English is, who is the actor to make the highest rate of pay for one single film? And what was the name of the film? The number is 2256415. We'll award the prize to the fifth caller in. Tight Kari. While we're waiting for the fifth caller in, let's watch the... Hi, we're back. And we've got a caller on the line. It's hopefully the right answer. To the question, which was, 
who is the actor who made the highest rate of pay for one pro, um, movie? And what was the name of the movie? Hello? Hello, do we have somebody on the line? Hello? Yes. Yes? yes uh, the answer is John Walton will be Greece. Uh, just a minute, please. Mark, it's for you. Hello? Well, the answer is John Walton will be Greece. Uh, I'm sorry, you've got the wrong answer. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. Hello, do we have someone here? Yes. Hello? Hello? Yes. What's, um, what's your answer? Marilyn Brando in Superman? Yes, we've got a winner. We've got a winner. Uh, what's your name, please? Iris Wilson. Iris, and uh, what school do you go to? Maryville High. That's nice. I like that school. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you like, did you see the movie? No, I haven't seen the movie. Oh, you should go see it. I did, and it was a fanta fantastic movie. Goodbye. Uh, commercial best part of the show. It's about time. Dad, is this the government thought you're unemployed? Yes, it is. This government is useless. Dad, is that the government thought the sister Shavins aren't in the NHL? That's right. Government spend all that money on opera and a ballet. They don't spend none on hockey. Dad, is the government to blame for almost everything that goes wrong? Not almost everything that goes wrong. Everything that goes wrong! Good. Then it's the government fault they failed all on the subject. Some people have asked us, why doesn't anyone in the studio laugh at our program, like on other comedy shows? Well, the truth is, they're not really laughing on other comedy shows. What you're hearing is canned laughter, like this. <laughs> they put that on there to try and make you laugh, in case you don't laugh at their jokes. We, however, do not do this. We believe comedy should stand on its own. We have faith in the discernment, intelligence, and good taste of you, our viewing audience. And also, canned laughter costs a lot, and you can't afford it. But a program that can is the Farm Report. We thought you might like to see the experimental version of this program. They have been around for a long time, but they aren't quite as well known as that other color, the black Angus. So, you know, when you mention Angus, people automatically think of the blacks. Harris Lehman of Lake Dory near Aidenville has a herd of red Angus cattle and is very pleased about his new son, one of the standard English breeds a few years ago, to the red Angus. Strictly a breeding operation, to date, Mr. Lehman has sold close to 100 head of stock to farmers all across Ontario. So there you are. Now you know that laughter on TV is not real laughter at all, but it's just a load of... Hold it! Hold it! Just a second. I've got to get this bleeper machine ready uh, before you say it. Say what? What you were going to say. Wait, wait. Takes a little while to warm up. Up? Uh, okay. Now you can say it. All I was going to say is that we just proved that laughter on TV is a load of bull. Oh. Hey, Inspector. Yes, yes. Are the buses running on time? Oh, of course, Sonny. OC Transpo buses always run on time. Wouldn't it be better if they ran on wheels? That cheeky kid! Hey, Jim, you look really worried. Yeah, this afternoon I've got the toughest thing CJOH has ever asked us kids to do. Oh, wow, you poor guy. What's that? I've got to do a talk in front of a whole audience of school teachers. I mean, what can I tell them that they don't already know? Mm. How about, uh, two and two make four? <laughs> yeah. It does? Why did the elephant wear the red dress? Why did he wear the red dress? Because the green one was in the wash. <laughs> Why does a man throw ice cubes in his aunt's bed? Why? He wanted to make Annie freeze. If you want to be on next week's show, we've got a roving camera ready to film your jokes. And we'll try to remember to tell you where it is before the show is over. And another way to get on TV, if you've got something to complain about, complain about it on our show. Uh, I hate school. I hate the ports that my mom gives me every morning. I don't like smelly socks. 
I just hate the Montreal Canadiens, hate the Toronto Maple Leafs. You don't like Canadian hockey teams, eh? No. My French teacher. You don't like your French teacher? How come? Oh, I just don't like her. She gives too much over. I think we get too much school. Yeah, same thing as my friend. We get, we don't get too much holidays in private school. I hate liver. There will be a Valentine disco dance held by the Ottawa Boys and Girls Club on February 16th, Friday night, 8 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. All boys and girls between the ages of 11 and 15 are welcome. The dance will be held at the Fred C. Ma Fred C. McCann unit on 430 MacArthur Road. For further information, call 746-8517. Admissions only a dollar per person. There will also be door prizes. But giving away doors? Moron. All right, you little French squirt. I don't know if you'll listen to this kind of... More on that in a moment. <laughs> got a dog. His name is Rover. He's fluffy and cute and brown all over. He's as cuddly as sugar babies. It's sure too bad he's got rabies. If I had my way, I think I'd hibernate during the winter. Some people say I already do. Anyway, right now at the airport, it's minus 22 degrees Celsius. If I was at the airport, I think I'd jump on a plane for somewhere warm. Enough from the peanut gallery. Anyway, we've got we've asked some kids from the Ottawa Valley what they really think of winter in the Ottawa area. I like winter because I, my favorite sport is skating and I can't go skating in summer. You get to go skiing, skating, tobogganing, skidooing. Oh, it's fun. Yeah, how come? Why do you like them? Well, I go crash fancy skiing and I, and I um, skate with my family. I don't like going to school when there's a pleasure because we have to walk through a field and you get the snow on your face. Oh, I think it's great because I like building snow forts and, and snowballs and having snowball fights. Sometimes people at my school take, take um, some ice balls and they throw them at me. I like them because you can skate and you can make ice sculptures and it's quite a lot of fun. I like them, uh, well, they're no different than summers. I like them just as much. Well, I like the snow sculptures in the canal and skating. This is the world's longest skating rink and everything. I don't like the cold. That's the only thing. I love them. They're really fun. Because I like to toboggan and ski. <laughs> Sometimes it gets too cold. Yeah. I know what you mean. Well, I can't tell you how old she is. You know, well, actually, see, women like of that stature really don't want to tell anybody how old they yeah, are. Yeah, I understand. What a drag. Tell me, Jim, have you ever met her before? No, I haven't met her. I was talking to her on the phone, though, last time she was in Ottawa, which is about um, five, six months ago. Yeah? And Could very... you tell me a little bit about of her disco background? You know, what really got her started? Well, she uh, was living in West Germany, and uh, when she was there, she finally got a... Uh, she was trying to get into the music business, and uh, she finally got a call from her ex-manager in New York, who had this record called Love to Love You, Baby. Remember that one? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, that was great. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good record. In any event, uh, she recorded that, and that launched her into what's happening now. A lot of people figure when she did that, all she could do was moan and groan, which she could do, all right. <laughs> but she can sing all right, too. She yeah, I think, I think she's pretty good. Uh, do you know if she ever took any dancing lessons or anything that, that really maybe moved her into disco? Oh, not really. I think she's just got a natural feel for that type of thing. Yeah. You know? Well, thanks a lot, Jim. Well, thanks, Jim. See you later, Jim. Say hi to Uncle Jim for me. Okay, Jim. Okay. See you later. See you, Jim. Hey, Inspector. Mm hmm Does the next bus go west? Yes, sir. Well, could you give my regards to the Lone Ranger? Go back to you. And now we come to one of the most important parts of the program. So listen carefully. The falling enrollment in Ottawa schools could lead to a crisis of great... Not many people know what important work is done behind the scenes in the television studio. That, for instance, the words that television performers speak into the camera are usually read directly off cue cards. The men who hold these cue cards are among the most valuable members of the team, valiantly striving behind the scenes to put the program on air. Struggling for hours writing out words on large cards so that stupid performers can remember stupid lines written by overpaid, untalented writers Found upon by pansy producers and drunken directors. Hey, wait a minute. This isn't what we practiced in rehearsal. 
Now someone almost as tall as me, Jim Johnson. But I feel Pizzarello. Yep. And Karen Paquette. Right. Where are you from, Kelly? Um, Audubon P. And uh, what school do you go to? Frank Ryan. What school do you go to? Frank Ryan. From the same neck of woods? Neck of the woods? Yeah. You did a great job. Thanks a lot for coming down today. And now, back to the hall. in this living room. Hey, will you still be my father? Okay, we got another great contest here, and this time we're giving away six fantastic albums. We've got here Night Watch, Night Watch by Kenny Loggins, and we've got Triumph, and uh, Boston, Don't Look Back, and we've got Rod Stewart, Footloose and Fancy Free, and we've got Hot Streets by Chicago, and we've also got Meatloaf, Bat Out of Hell. Now, to win these records, all you have to do is be the fifth caller in with the right answer and tell us what the number five song was on the top 30 charts of CFGO this week. And the number to call in is 225-6740. Phone in now. Special treat today. It's your birthday. Oh, wow. Do I get a cake? No. A custard pie. Cindy, were you ever in love? Yes. I was once. Anyone I know? Tim, maybe. <laughs> no, not him. It was a frog. Cindy, that's no way to speak of our French-Canadian cousins. <laughs> Not one of them. A real frog. I raised him from a tadpole. Oh. Is he still alive? No, I dissected him in a fit of passion. Gross me out. How could you bring yourself to cut up a frog you've known for years? Oh, come on. Frogs aren't human. Any more of this and we will separate. Where's Goofy's friend when he turns off the light? I don't know. Where's Goofy's friend when he turns off the light? In the dark. Why do birds fly south in the winter? I don't know. Why do birds fly south in the winter? Too far to walk. Knock, knock. Who's, who's there? Madame. Madame who? Madame foot stuck in the door. Hello, we're back again. And as you remember, we have six great albums to give away if you can answer the proper question. Hello. Who have I got on the line? David Agolnik. David Agolnik. And what school do you go to, David? A uh, private school. You go to a private school. And what's the name of it? Hello Academy. Oh, gee, that's quite nice. How old are you? I'm 11 years old. Oh, really? And do you know what the top number five song is this week? It's either Boogie Oogie 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 Dancing Shoes or um, YMCA. I'm sorry. You lose. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, have I got somebody on the line? Hi. Hello, what's your name? Lisa Leving. Lisa. Well, how do you do, Lisa? What school do you go to? Uh, Philemon Wright. Philemon Wright. Well, that's nice. How old are you, Lisa? I'm 13. Oh, wow. That's great. Say, do you know the answer to our question? Uh, is it Rasputin? Yes, it is. And do you know what the name... <laughs> All right. You win it. Oh, great. That's great. So, fine. Sounds like you're having a party in the background yeah, there. Yeah, this is my cheering section. <laughs> your cheering section. You got a cheering section to watch our show, do you? Yeah. <laughs> great. What do you think of the show? Oh, I think it's fantastic. It's really good. Well, that's really, really nice. I Jesus. even more now that I won. <laughs> What are you going to do with the records? Listen to them. Listen to them. Hey, now that's something that you should do with records. That's always a very good idea, you know. Okay, thank you very, very much for calling. Keep watching the show. Bye-bye. Okay, I will. Bye. Sir? Oh, oh, yes, boy. It says here on my timetable that the bus is supposed to run on average one every ten minutes. I've been waiting here an hour. What are you complaining about, boy? Here comes six of them. That's an average of one every ten minutes. Today on our show, we're going to 
present this gold watch worth $100 to the Carrier of the Month for the Citizen. The winner is Darcy Bonner. Thanks. And to present his award is Terry Wall, District Supervisor. That's your boss. Congratulations, Darcy. Thanks a lot, Good Terry. job well done. Thanks. How long have you been a, a paper carrier? Oh, two years now. Two years? Oh. How could you? Oh. Do you like it? Yeah, it's pretty fun. He likes it. I, I didn't it. like it much. Um, what other prizes have you won? Oh, a trip to Florida. A trip to Florida. Do you hear that? What do we get for hosting a show? Nothing. Now get on with the show. How do you become a paper carrier? Well, if you call a citizen and leave your name and address. What's the number? The number is 829-9100. Well, I have some good news and some bad news for you. Which do you want first? Uh, the good news. We are going to unchain you. We're going to give you a shower. And we're going to fix you up with a big steak dinner. Freedom? Steak dinner? A shower? What's the bad news? Then we're going to hang you. It's no use. Hey, champ, why you got the gloves? Is it a girl? No, it's Cindy. She doesn't seem to take any notice of me. Yeah, well, it's rather sad about Cindy. There's no known cure. What? Is Cindy sick? Is she dying of some awful disease? Tim, that's not what I meant. It's just like I said, kind of sad. Jim, are you trying to say that Cindy's stupid? Is that what you're trying to say? Tim, sometimes the truth can be hard to bear. Jim, she's not stupid. She is, Tim. She's not. She is. She isn't. She is. Isn't. Is. No. Why don't she you two stop arguing and ask me? All right, Cindy. No, tell no. us. Jim, you know she always tells the truth. I know, and she's too dumb to tell a lie. All right then, Jim, I'll ask her then. Cindy, would you say you're stupid? That's a funny thing for a friend to ask, Tim. But you know me. Anything to oblige. You're stupid. You're stupid, Tim. You're stupid. Right, Tim? <laughs> right, Cindy. Come on, let's go to the movie. There'll be no talking during the examination. Oh, hi, Cindy. I was wondering if our class could use your facilities uh, this afternoon. I sent you a member. Can you please be quiet? Sorry. Yeah, well, I didn't think any problem. No? No, that's good. Please? Yeah. Oh, excuse okay. us. Oh, what, okay, well, if it's okay, then we'll just go ahead and... Uh, yeah. Get to the office immediately! More afternoon, CFTO Radio is organizing a party on the canal by the Arts Center. And there'll be lots of funny-looking characters there, like Jim Johnson, and these... These... visiting Otter for the first time. And don't forget, you saw them on our show first. You know, while we're working here on the program, McDonald's provides us with free care packages, which is lucky because CJ Wade should probably let us start. Tim! Tim, you can't eat Mary cheese. It's too big. Want a bat? Are you kidding? I see that guy down five big mouths in one shot. So what's new? I wasn't hungry that day. I'd eat already. No. A thousand kids took part in the Winterlude festivities last Tuesday. But, you know, that was, uh, a little crummy because I didn't get to go. And, uh, well, you know, I didn't enjoy it because I didn't get to go sleigh riding or anything like that. But, you know, that was, they did pay tribute to the, uh, Year of the Child. And I thought that was really great. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Hey, Mark, what'd you do? Well, I had a great time. I gave my teacher a math assignment, and she gave me a geography project. Oh, oh wow. wow. What a lovely kid. Yeah. But yeah. the rest of the time, I just sat around in class. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the first in our school broke down, and all our fish died in our class. And all I had for, for our lunch break was a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. With anchovies? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, my favorite. Yeah. Oh, well, I celebrated Children's Day in math, science, Geography, English, and French classes. <laughs> Real fun. Sure was great of the NCC to put Children's Day, a day which is the focal point of the year of the child, a year emphasizing child's rights, on a day when children wouldn't have the right to choose whether or not to go. Their teachers had the choice. And we think that such 
um, intelligence and originality deserves an award. And so we have here a special engraved McCain's Deep and Delicious for the NCC bureaucrat who decided to put Children's Day on a day when most children could only celebrate by doing fractions in English grammar, stuck in class as usual. So, whoever you are, come down and collect your prize. We dare you. Yeah. Come on yeah. down. Come anyway, on. there's still some things left to enjoy. There'll be skate races at Bank Street and Fifth Avenue this afternoon at 2 o'clock. And there's a speed skating demonstration this afternoon at 2.30, same place, Fifth Avenue. There's a football game going on at, on skates at the Dallas Lake uh, at 3 o'clock today. And tonight, there's a fashion show on the ice at the NAC. There's also spot dances and a, a light show disco. That's tonight at 8. And don't forget the grand wind-up party with all McDonaldland characters. Tim hasn't eaten them all yeah, by yeah. then. Hey, you yeah. know what? If I get hungry, I'm a growing boy. Yeah. Oh, Speaking yeah. of parties, what are you doing Valentine's Day? I've got a headache. Ready, spaghetti, go! Come on. Oh, you here? We're eating spaghetti as fast as we can. Oh, my dummy, but why? Part of a contest that CUH is having. What are the prizes? First prize is a portable television. Fifty. Mm-hmm. Where's the challenge? It's at 1500 Maribel Road. Mmm, I got it. Mmm. Fifty. All you have to do is come down to the old spaghetti factory. For the CUH building. Um, fill out a ballot. We'll pick 20 names and invite them down for the contest and see who can eat a plate of spaghetti the fastest. Who's the man? Uh huh. He's the best spaghetti I've ever eaten in my whole life. What are the prizes? First prize is a portable TV. What's the second prize? At dinner here with you and your family, you can still send us a side of spaghetti after the contest. Oh, wow, this is excellent. In case the details didn't come through too clearly, they were talking with their mouths full. I'll tell you again. Come down to CJOH reception or the old spaghetti factory and fill out an entry form. And we'll put all the entry forms in a big box, shake it up, and draw 20 names. And these 20 will be invited to join in our spaghetti eating contest. They'll give different portions to different ages to make it fair. And the winner and the portions given will be decided by the judges. And we're not the judges. The judge is Diane McDonald of the old spaghetti factory. Mm. Mm -hmm. That was good. What's for dessert? <laughs> Suddenly, I'm no longer hungry. <laughs> and this is the prize you'll get. This beautiful TV. And you can tune it into any channel. Except ours, of course, because then you'll get this thing called Audio Howl. And the whole studio will blow up. Well, do it! Do it! Oh, hey, Jim, you know I'm quitting my job here at CGOH? Why? Well, it says on the back of this entry form that anybody that's employed by CGOH can't enter the contest. So I'll quit and enter the contest and win the TV. Okay, Tim, go ahead. Quit your job. Yeah, beat it. Yeah. Hey, why don't you go uh, catch a bus? And by the way, if you want to tell us about your OC transport, what you think of the OC transport service, come down to our roving camera. Stopping tomorrow. No kid. OC transport buses are not stopping tomorrow. Not stopping? Not stopping. If they're not stopping, how are the people going to get on and off? If you watched last week's program like I did, you remember the item we had on on baton twirling. Well, here in Ottawa, we have a truly localized version of the sport. It's called pen twirling. And with us here today, we have Trevor and Ian to show us how to do this sport. And I just demonstrate for you the basic art twirling form here for anybody that wants to know. And uh, we'll be willing to give lessons at our house <laughs> if anybody really gets interested in this true art form. We need a job. <laughs> Which are the best pens to be using? Personally, I think Bix are the best. But uh, for professional twirling, I'd, 
I'd sure weight each end and make sure that it really feels comfortable going around the thumb. Hmm. Would you like to try that, Mark? Uh, okay, provided I don't have to wear a dress. Mark, my word, as wardrobe miss the master, you do not have to wear a dress, believe me. Well, in that case, I'll try it, too. We'll be back in a moment to see Mark and Tim twirl. Now, remember, Mark, you don't have to wear a dress. <laughs> now, Timothy. Wait a minute. I'm Timothy. getting suspicious. Hey, come on, Timothy. I've got no, something for you. It's no. More length. No way. Oh, it's beautiful. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Isn't anybody on my side? I am. Hi, we're back. And as soon as we can get Tim. Up here, uh, we're going to have a few lessons in between. Well, anywhere. Come look, get me out of this thing. Listen, stand up there like a man. Bloody or a woman. Monstrosity. <laughs> okay, Tim, class is in session here. Let's see how we're supposed to be able to twirl these things. <laughs> okay, yeah, Tim, I'll show you. It's really quite easy. You're using your power finger to power it around your thumb, and the reverse torsional effect will carry the spin around where you nab it at the end of the twirl, okay? So in all one fluid motion, it's, it's fairly easy. But uh, no, some of us can't easy. really master it too well. Some of us, most of us. Maybe you should raise your hemline or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, just keep on trying. And maybe someday you too can master the art of pen twirling because it's quite an esoteric thing. And I'm sure you'd really appreciate it once you're no. right into the swing of the thing. Speaking of appreciation, thank you very, very much for coming on the show. It's quite yeah, all right. I enjoyed it. It sounded quite interesting, really. Mm, yeah, you, you have no idea. That's not the way to say thank you. A nice girl would curtsy. I'm not a girl, and I don't know how to curtsy. Oh, well, come over to my house, and I'll teach you. You look very cute in that dress. Brings out my motherly instincts. Never gets the girl. Oh, now well. that was ridiculous. Hey, Jim. Uh, yup. Have you ever been to a psychiatrist? Uh, nope. Never been to a psychiatrist. Uh, anybody who goes to a psychiatrist ought to have their head examined. Yup. Hey, Cindy. Yeah, I've invented something that enables people to walk right through walls. That's amazing. What are you going to call it? A door. Hey, Tim. Yeah? My mom went to the hospital and had something she's had trouble with ever since. Oh, really? What was that? Me. I believe you. And now, I'm this guy's biggest fan, Jim Johnson. You're one of my biggest fans? Well, that's, that's crazy because I'm one of your biggest fans. As, as a matter of fact, I want to join the Moose fan club. Uh, be one of the horny musketeers. <laughs> I'll find out, but first I have two more dancers for you. This is Kelly Searson and Karen Asdale. To in hey, Kelly Searson, where are you from, Karen? Nepean. Nepean, you, where are you from? Nepean. You live around uh, in the same neighborhood? Uh, Dance together a lot? Oh, yeah. What school do you go to? Green Park. And what school do you go to? Fair Crime. Hey, thanks a lot for coming in. Kelly Searson and Karen Asdale. Now back to that young kid who managed to keep his pants on this week, Mark Bion. At this time of the year, there are all sorts of winter carnivals going on around here. The Grand Winter Carnival of Orleans and Region started yesterday and runs to the 18th. They've got dances, ice sculpture contests, and a sports award night with the Ottawa Rough Riders' Tony Gabriel. Today, the Canterbury Community Association has a whole day of carnival events. If you'd like to find out what your community is doing for carnival activities, call your local center or association for more information. Uh, sir, uh, excuse me, uh, what are you doing? I'm polishing the lens. I've been polishing lenses now for nigh on a 40 year. Yeah. Yeah, I've been polishing television lenses since the silent days. Well, I'd rather you didn't clean this one right now. Because we're using it? No, you don't understand, Sonny. You'd know she'd been in this business very long. I, I've been in it since before you was born. You see, this camera, when the TV camera's working, the red lights are flashing, you see. Now, in this camera, the red lights are flashing. Oh, no. Now that we've got that settled out, let's watch Andy Gibb. How old is Andy Gibb, anyway? I believe he just turned 20. So really? long ago. Just a young gapper. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever met him? Uh, yeah, I ran into him uh, at the radio station one day. I was just walking through, just taking my time, and here was this little guy, which Blue. really surprised me because here was this guy the same height as me. Oh, well, that's short. Yeah, I'm not used to that. <laughs> he said, hi, I'm Andy Gibb. And I said, well, I'm Jim Johnson, you're not. <laughs> Do you think he uh, kind of models his music after his brother's Bee Gees? Oh, uh, there's a definite uh, uh, influence from the Bee Gees there, of course. Uh, 
He doesn't like to think so. He likes to think he's going off. Well, what he says is he, he writes with his brother's influence, and he writes with the eagle's influence, and the cross he calls Beagle. Beagle, huh? Hot dog. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, I understand that uh, the Moose fan club is uh, getting underway. Um, how, how do you become a disco <laughs> dancer on our show? Don't want to talk show. about it, eh? Yeah. Okay. Um, can you dance? Hey, not bad, eh? Not bad, eh? Well, listen, how would you like to come down here this afternoon about 2 o'clock to CJOH Merrillville Road, wear your best clothes, something light, bring the record that you want to dance to, and uh, come on down, and you may be on the show. <laughs> Why me? I still don't believe that you guys could lose a basketball game by 102 to 4. <laughs> you know, you guys really are turkeys. Gobble. Gobble, gobble. This really is crazy. Hey, Jim, how'd it go with Cindy? Uh, not too great. It seems that dress brought out her motherly instincts. She kept trying to feed me warm milk. Oh, this is crazy. You're absolutely right. <laughs> I backed our Ritter stole a Riven Sid garbage. Wob Max Yub Sa of Tha. The cue cards. Yep, looks like the writers had a whiskey supper again. Stanley caused by terror. She was incapable of knowing what Hey, Mom, can I have some spinach? Not until you've eaten all that chocolate bar. Aw, but Mom. To, to temporary insanity on the basis. That sketch was sent to us by 12-year-old Sky Matthews of Kinsmere, Quebec. If you have any funny, funny sketches that you'd like to send in to help our writers, please do, because they're obviously running out of them. So please send your ideas to You Can't Do That on Television, P.O. Box 5813, Station F, Ottawa, K2C 3G6. And another way to get your wit and wisdom, or even your complaints, on TV is to find our mobile camera. Just like these kids did last week. What's the difference between elephants and fleas? Huh? I don't know what's the difference between elephants and fleas. An elephant can have fleas, but a flea can't have elephants. What has a horn and gives milk? Uh, I don't know. What does? A milk truck. Knock, knock. Who's there? Dwayne. Dwayne who? Dwayne the bathtub, Mama. I'm drowning. <laughs> why wouldn't the skeleton cross the road? Uh, why wouldn't he? Because he didn't have the guts to. <laughs> what goes ha ha plop? I don't know. What does? A man laughing his head off. Why did the cucumber blush? Why did it? Because he saw the salad dressing. Okay, y'all. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Oh, you're going to love this. The location of the mobile camera. I have the envelope. Please. You know, I think he's getting used to that dress. Anyway, the location of the mobile camera is... The winter will slide at the NAC. Some people have asked us how you get on the show and be one of the cast like us. Well, it's really very simple. But I'm not going to tell you, because you might come on down to the station and take my job away. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you think you're doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm sweeping up after the show. Now, what on the way? But the, the, the show's not over. You're kidding. No. It must be. It's got to be over. It's been... Seems like it's been going for hours. And I'm... So we're not finished yet. Wait a minute. You're not finished yet? Oh, yes, you're finished. And I'll tell you how I know you're finished. Roll the credits! Now, get out of the way, please. Keep your finger in
to that on television is a CJOH Shoestring Production. You're not going home like that, are you, Tim? Not if I can find my pants. <laughs>